us being an at-risk population, uh, I immediately talked to our head of nursing and the two of us really talked about what, it, what when there is a, um, a virus that is a communicable virus in our community, the fastest way to do uh, to shut it down is to shut down operations. So uh, we closed our dining room, we closed our common areas, we closed um, the mail room. Uh, so we started delivering mail to residents' apartments. We took like the, the most conservative approach to, um, to keeping everyone here safe. And then little by little, we would talk about it. What can we do? Um, what can we offer safely? We keep reading about other places and other towns and she's kept us so safe that, that we really appreciate that. Getting the meals is easy. They just bring them to you. And not only do they give you enough for your dinner, but they've increased them, included a sandwich and stuff, odds and ends. Right. That uh, really supplies you two meals. It has been a real blessing not having to worry about going to the grocery store, going where there are people, uh, and the food. You know, they have a, enough and a selection that if there are things you don't like, there's plenty of other stuff. We tried to give our residents as much autonomy as humanly possible while still trying to make them feel uh, important and catered to. And, um, you know, my biggest, my biggest concern throughout the whole uh, ordeal was how do we keep our residents um, socially engaged. On my calendar, existing already on my calendar, were a number of things. And I thought, well, now how can I try to convert that to something that we could still do. And we're so fortunate here because we have um, the live feed camera in our auditorium space, and that has been a godsend. It's really great that the exercise programs are continuing on TV so that we can continue to do those things. That I really, really appreciate. We did uh, our little dance parties on uh, mostly Thursdays, not entirely based on the weather, but uh, we would we would play music and dance around the entire campus and residents would come out and join us and then they would see one another and everybody was dancing um, and it that I know made a big difference in, in quite a few people's lives. I'd call down and they'd, they'd call up and, and we'd wave at each other. And it, it was very nice. Other times we did uh, ice cream socials indoors, going door to door to door. And that was also nice. To, it gave me a chance to lay eyes on people. Everybody here has worked so hard for us and they've been so cooperative, uh, I'm gonna cry. That's right. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's been a blessing. We're reading magazines and newspapers, and we're reading where people write personal accounts of how they're dealing with sheltering in place, and they're going crazy, and they're ready to kill one another, and they're dying of boredom and frustration, and, and they don't know what to do. And yeah, we've had moments like that, truthfully, but overall, that's not how it is. We, you know, overall, we, we felt like, you know, we felt very comfortable. We didn't, we, we didn't feel like this was torture and, the, and that we're going to count the days until it's over. That, that just hasn't happened. If we were home alone in our home. What would we do? What would we do? Here, we're not alone. And if we need something, we don't have to worry. The nurses are there, there are people that will help us. Uh, this has uh, been very, it's been very comfortable. Yeah, it has been very comfortable. Very, very comfortable. Masonic Care at Chester Village is a gem. It's family, it's hope, it's fun, it's wild. We're just all uh, so very dedicated to one another. We all look out for one another. Everybody knows one another staff and residents really feel like this is just a, a family. We're just an extended family and we all love each other really and truly.